What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while since we've did, done kind of an update or did an update on eFootball and just having a chat about it and a couple of the issues that are that are with the game at the moment, that are going on with the game at the moment. Um, so I decided to do this video where we just do a kind of a let's chat on eFootball with V1.1.2 at the moment. I've been away for a couple of days so I'm just catching up with everything going on. I see that there's petitions flying around to bring Pez back. I see that they're still having issues with the with the cheaters in the eFootball Open and the rankings and stuff. Um, and also just a couple of tweets that Pez Uni put out on the Twitter. Over on the Twitter, the lads are putting out a couple of tweets over the last week um, where we had polls and stuff like that. So I just wanted to get your, your thoughts and just kind of bring the thoughts of a few people in the community as to like where eFootball is at the moment. So... The first thing I will say, lads, is you will probably be seeing on the screen here at the moment uh, the tweet that we put out where we asked about like leaving modes aside, such as Master League, Edit Mode, Become a Legend, whatever, from a current gameplay uh, content perspective with V1.1.2, what are your main issues, what would you like to see improved, worked on, and what do you like, what is keeping you logging in or playing each week? So we got a lot of replies to this, um, I'll try and go through a lot of them to give like a wide uh kind of wide um a wide angle of like where everybody is coming from whatever but i think the the majority of the issues can be summed up by things like input delay the responsiveness the player switching the the online uh connection and stuff like that the lack of animations as you see topolino start us off there with the first reply now bear in mind that a couple of the issues that were in the game like last week or whenever this tweet went out have been ironed out because there was a matchmaking issue where you were being matched up with with guys all over the place and not closest to you um they've also made a change to the the player connection bar as well when you're searching for a match but yeah, it just might be good just for us to cover a couple of topics. I'll try and keep the video short and sweet, but it probably will be on the longer side as I try to give an overview of everything in great detail. And I'm just going to give you my thoughts with a bit of gameplay in the background as well as we cover some stuff. So going through a couple of these uh, messages here, lads, um, I will say that like I think there's a big breakdown in, commun in communication at the moment in terms of like there are a lot of people playing this game and if you're not playing this game you're not going to think that other people are enjoying it if you're not enjoying it you're not going to think other people are enjoying it it's kind of like watching something on netflix or amazon prime or disney and it's like this is the greatest you know show ever and you're really enjoying it and you're tweeting about it there's some people that will have no interest in it there's some people that will think it's terrible there's some people that will think this or think that and it's similar that when you are hating something and you're despising something and you're complaining about it daily or weekly or monthly or whenever and you're choosing not to play it or watch it you're probably going to just have a completely different impact and a completely different experience with the game movie tv show book whatever you want to put in there as your media format you're going to have a different like a completely different uh, experience than somebody that is enjoying it and i think sometimes that gets lost in translation that you know you will see a lot of tweets that go up you know, oh, you know, this is the worst eFootball ever, this is terrible, this is this, this is that. Whereas in the meantime, you have a lot of other people that are not engaging on social media, that are just playing the game and playing eFootball as part of their weekly game and cycle. So I've talked about this in the podcast before that, you know, if you get five or six hours a week to play the game, which is, you know, an hour after work or an hour or two on the weekends to play the game, and you're playing three or four different games. Say you're playing a single player game or something on Game Pass or PS Plus or the whatever it is now. Um, and you're playing something like, you know, Spider-Man or God of War or like the new Batman when it comes out or the new uh, Hogwarts game when it comes out or something like that. Or you're playing COD, NBA, FIFA or eFootball or like I've gone back and played PES 2013 and I've spent most of my, my time, free time playing that at the moment. Um, so like... I think that's kind of the majority of people that are playing this game now is they're, you know, they're swapping in, you know, they might play Apex on a Monday night, mightn't play on a Tuesday, then on a Wednesday, they might play some eFootball for an hour or two, they might play COD on a Friday, they might play eFootball again on a Saturday, and they're playing three or four hours a week of eFootball, so they're not seeing a lot of the issues that somebody, let's say, that bangs out, you know, a 12-hour stream is seeing, you know, because it's consistent, you're playing the same type of gameplay all the time, and I know guys that play 40 hours a week, of eFootball so you're going to see completely different and have a completely different experience than a guy that plays four hours a week right so I'm not saying that the gameplay doesn't need to be improved because of that but it definitely does need to be improved but I'm just saying that there is a big breakdown in communication in my opinion as to like what um 
the overall consensus is of people playing it. So as we go through these replies, we see lack of animations resulting in delay, upgrade to the variety of usable players. We need more GP. Very good uh, point here. The system that picks the fitting animation. So animations is a big issue, obviously. Uh, Patricio says about the frame rate drops. Um, should be frame, 60 frames per second constantly. Uh, CBFC says I've only played offline, so my experience is limited to that. But he thinks that FIFA in its animations and likeness to real football is better than EU football. I would probably disagree with that. I think that FIFA 22 was a lot. It's just a different direction, man. It's super arcadey, um, in my opinion, with the animations and stuff from a strictly animations point of view. Like presentation wise and the players and the look and feel of the game is phenomenal yeah, at the moment. It's proper like. Um, clearing the ball first time and defense is broken, passing being all over the place and all assistance levels. Every header seems to be a glancing header. So these can be rounded up to, yeah, headers have always been an issue. Um, and again, the input delay that when you click, you know, you want to clear the ball and he takes that extra touch, that's because it's trying to be rooted in some sort of realism that you know, the animation isn't broken. And I'm going to put up a couple of clips of NBA 2K uh, here, where which is kind of the standard for sports games at the moment. And I've played a lot of NBA 2K. You know, I'm level 99 as my my player. I'm fairly decent my team. Um, I've, 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 I've played a lot of it throughout the years uh, from 2K11, I think I started playing it, or 2K12. And I think that the same issues in that, you know, like there's a lot of clipping and stuff because they want to link the animations together to be more realistic. So you might have an animation for this certain dunk. And when you dunk it, you can defend it perfectly or the AI might defend you perfectly, but the ball will like, you know, it'll like teleport through the player's head or teleport through the player's arm to complete the animation. So you don't really see it unless you go into replay. I think the problem is, is that eFootball like does a fairly bad job of hiding those kind of clipping issues and stuff whereas nba just kind of embraces them and i'll show you a couple of clips here um where it happens you know it's just it's just the same in all sports games because you do need to have a trade-off and a balance between realism and actual you know playability so yeah i do do agree with the refs i think that they still need a little bit of work um we also look at the graphics between mobile and ps3 i presume it means ps5 um kg from operation sports says he needs more tactics to combat the quick counter i agree with that uh i don't play fifa as always been a pez player i'd like weather day and night settings at a minimum that will come uh division should be done by pass assist and filter that will probably come as well friendly lobbies will definitely come we already know that compensation lag graham says that it seems to be worse by 80 percent now frustratingly unplayable um I played a couple of games earlier, lads, and yeah, it was a mixed bag. It was a mixed bag for me. This guy, Graham, is saying that he has to abandon games before he breaks something. I've been there. I've been there. Uh, Alex says he's still playing PES 21. Um, looking for season kits. Yeah, we got you. We got you. AJ Brewer is saying too many bugs to mention. The UX is horrible. The player and ball physics is horrible. Wrong player selected on full manual. Stutters on PS4. Uh, improved the responsiveness. 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 Collisions. First touch. Band cheaters a uh, couple of people only logging in for the daily rewards again marlon says the menus not even the colors that's been criticized to death but the user interface is a chore to navigate i agreed 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 and i mean i always watch sep when he's streaming and you know he spends most of his time just going through the menus because uh it takes so long to get from game to game and stuff but it's yeah it's just something that they need to work at man it is just seamlessly integrating that ui into the actual game uh responsiveness seems to have creeped back in uh yeah, there's a couple of different uh, tweets here, obviously, talking about the handicap win or lose when the game wants. I mean, again, for here, you're going to see clips like this. I've been on the receiving end of this, and I've got them in my way as well, where you go up, something crazy happens, the keeper, it's a mixture of a breakdown of animations, you know, ping, connection issues, um, and it can be extremely frustrating when it does happen. Yeah, I've been there. Connection quality has to be get better when the latency gets too high. It's not enjoyable at all. 100% agree with that. Zico just says that he hates this garbage. He gives up. Um, Daru is talking about the bring, bring Pez back movement. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but as Paul, as uh, Peter says there, it's you know Pez is not coming back anymore. Potential for profit is much bigger with the eFootball model. Naruto says he's logging in to just claim his coins. Um Kev is talking about changing the, the, the challenges and the, the stadiums and stuff like that. Um, and again, player selection, ignoring the ball, lag issues. Um, yeah, so all of this, like, look, all of these kind of can be summed up by, like, a lot of people are saying, you know, the input delay, um, 
everything like that, you know, is probably the biggest one, right? Everyone like that is saying that that's probably the biggest issue. Input delay, the responsiveness, the player switching. Um, and when you do actually go over here to a second tweet that we put up, which was how many hours have you logged playing? This kind of paints a different picture. Again, there's a lot of people that won't get involved and say that they're enjoying the game, but are still playing it. And then there's a lot of people that are like not enjoying the game and still playing it, you know, and they'll say that they're not going to play it. And then a week or two later, they'll come back and play, you know, play it. They'll say that they don't support the microtransaction route, but then they've all, already pumped in, you know, 50, 60, 100 quid into the game. So listen, lads, right at the end of the day, right, Konami came out last season or two seasons ago with the iconic moment editions, right? And people supported it. People bought multiple versions of the game. The power packs at the moment are massively popular because people want to have the best players. Even if they don't play the game that much, they want to have the best players. They want to have a 99 rated Messi. They want to have a 100 rated Ronaldinho. They want to have Romario. They want to have Neymar. They want to have those legend cards. And that's fine. You know, I think that that is okay. I've already done videos to see that the standard players can go nearly as good as the, the legend players and stuff. Um, everyone is entitled to spend what they want to spend, you know, but that is kind of the biggest thing is that like, it's very rare that you will come on and see, you know, 100 replies saying, I love this game. I'm really enjoying this game. I play it two hours on a Saturday. I play eight hours a month and that's it. I play against the offline and I love it. You know what I mean? You're not going to see that because people would jump on them. And similarly, you also have people that when you are enjoying something, it's easier to, to, to see why you can be enjoying it. And you can see a couple of the issues, but you kind of gloss over them. And when you aren't enjoying it, everything that you see is a problem. Everything that you see is an issue. So that is kind of an interesting poll there, I would say, that 22.5% of people are saying that they haven't played it, but the rest have saying that they've played it for either 25 hours or under or 25 hours plus. So it is interesting. Now, one other thing we need to cover in this, lads, is... Yeah, look, Konami have come out already and talked about this, that we have confirmed that certain ranked participants in the open round two have breached the rules of conduct, which was previously communicated on the 8th of the 7th. After the maintenance, top ranked participants who have not committed any violations and have the best match results will be notified of their advancement to round three. So basically all these guys that are cheating, I'm not saying all of these guys here are cheating, but the guys that are cheating and that are, you know, doing stuff against the rules of uh, conduct are going to be just basically replaced like at Konami's discretion. So like if you look at the top ranked guy here in the EU on the PSN, he's got 378 goal difference over 15 matches, 15 wins, zero draws, zero losses, 380 goals scored. He'd have to score 25 goals a game, man, to score that. Like, um, And then last but not least, lads, we're going to go to the Bring Pez Back movement, right? So you can see here that that's 4,956 signatures have signed this, where they basically, I've been asked a lot about this, right? I've been asked a lot about this, where they're talking about bringing Pez back. And it sums it up by saying, this does not aim to ask for a return to the past, but a comeback of the usual quality of an e-football Pez. Um I mean, listen, my thoughts on this, lads, are the same as my thoughts have always been on eFootball and on Pez and on, you know, whatever you guys, um, whatever you guys will, will like fall on which side of the side of the line where you think that Pez sh should come back. Um, you know, I wouldn't have been against bringing out a season update for Pez 2021 again, keeping the same gameplay, keeping the same my club, slowly transition into a dream team, bring in the objectives, bring in the transfer market, bring in the GP marketplace to my club while they waited for the Unreal Engine 5 version of eFootball and just come out maybe this September or else next September with an absolute beautiful next-gen only game, you know, for PS5 or whatever. I wouldn't have been against that. They could have kept doing the power packs. They could have kept doing everything. The focus has been on Dream Team now. So it's not like that they had Master League done at launch and deleted it to hold it back. It's that they put all their attention and all their focus on Dream Team. So like eFootball 22 is not PES 22. And I've tried to say this a load of times that it's it's hard to kind of keep putting the point across because it gets misconstrued that I'm happy with the fact that eFootball 22 is something different and that there's no Master League. I mean, people say that because, you know, I enjoy Dream Team. Just because I enjoy, enjoy Dream Team when it plays well for me um, and I do content on it and I do videos on it, doesn't mean that I would not like a, a better product or I would not like a Master League. I mean, that's just stupidity if you think that um, I wouldn't like more of what's here at the moment. You know, I want exhibition match. I want co-op. I want Master League. I mean, I'm going back playing PES 2013's Master League. That's how much I miss Master League to get my kick off AI, um, you know, magic with the PES series, that it's still really enjoyable. You know, an hour before bed, you don't have to worry about sweating it out online. You can just play against the AI and have the stories in your head and stuff. Um, 
so yeah i mean i just think my in my opinion like i just think that it's kind of uh it's kind of like e-football is its own thing now you know pez is pez is is gone they've rebranded they've made it you know they've gone to pains to say i think a lot of the stuff that they're talking about in petition and stuff is going to come back but as i said lads at the end of the day you're going to get guys that are really enjoying the game you know what i mean like i think you know like the petition if this petition had fifty thousand uh signatures on it you know that's different you know what i mean if it had fifty thousand or a hundred thousand or whatever but a lot of people are just like enjoying e-football and those that aren't enjoying e-football you know probably are just moved on to something else and will play it you know like every now and again so let me know what you guys think lads i don't want to ke keep this video going too much longer but let me know what you guys think um i have a couple of gameplay in the background there and me just talking over it and stuff like that but we've tried to cover everything um that's kind of my thoughts on it uh let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any ideas for discussing other stuff um i've been away for a few days so we haven't had a podcast out but we will be switching up the format of the podcast a little bit as well um but yeah let me know what you guys think lads that's probably the main thing and uh we'll be back quite soon i will talk to you in a bit hope you enjoyed the video a couple of talking points in it if you agree or disagree with me let me know let's get the debate going and uh yeah we will be back in a while peace